Hi folks, this is Bart Valczak from creativeimpatience.com and today I will show you how to apply Power Window plugin to change the grade that has already been created on a clip. As you can see, this fine lady is a little bit reddish, uh, perhaps the eyes are a little unnatural, and so I wanted to change this grade to get your, her face pop a little bit more and to get a more neutral feeling to this clip. So let's apply the Power Window plugin. And uh, first, of course, we have to isolate the face. Uh, we do it using the GUI, like this. Uh, when we're done, let's now open up the controls, uh, because the normal sliders are much too sensitive. I prefer to use the sliders open. Let's apply a little bit of gain, reduce the effect by dropping the lift a little bit. Perhaps d decrease the saturation a little bit. Now, the, p the real power of this uh, effect lies in what we can do in the separate uh, RGB controls. Let's open up the controls and let's see what we can do now. I'm going to reduce the gain in the red channel a little bit, perhaps not that much. Uh, as you can see, once you start reducing the red, then, then the greenish cast is uh, going to appear, so I'm going to compensate for that by uh, raising uh, lift a little bit and, and dropping the gamma. And now I will increase a, a little bit of the gain in the blue channel to get the more neutral feeling, to, to get the blues to line up a little bit more. I also raise lift a little bit and drop the gamma to compensate for the blue tint that has uh, started to appear in the mid-tones. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, without, this is with. You will already see some dramatic change. Since I'm at it, I wanted also to modify the outside of the, of the clip. I will reduce the saturation so it doesn't pop out like this and I will also reduce the gain and lift to make her face pop out a little bit more from the darkness. Okay, I think it might be a little bit too much. Let's see... You know what? I'm crushing the blacks a little bit. I don't think I like it that much. I also don't think I like the, the saturated look. I will get rid of the reddish color in a different way. So let's crank up back the saturation and let's uh, let's change this uh, to get a little bit less. Now I will reduce the red gain in the outside uh, RGB controls significantly. I will also reduce the lift and I will compensate for the green cast by raising red gamma a little bit. But I can still see that there is some green in her hair, so I'll have to go to the green channel and modify the green channel uh, to reduce this green cast. So I will just drop the green gain and I think we are mostly done at this point. Okay, so once again, without and with, as you can see, it's a bit different feeling r right now. So if I feel that it's too much, I can draw it back. But actually, I don't think it's too much. So uh, let's crank it back up. I, I like it cooler than it was before. We're going to drop frames right now because it's an old machine. Let's uh, render it. And after uh, the rendering, let's see how it looks in the whole movement. Okay, you can clearly see the border of the window coming in, so we definitely need to animate the the window to make it look good. Uh, let's animate the point of origin from this place to at the end here, and this should be roughly it. Let's render it out again, and let's see how this effect looks like now. Nice! Okay. Well, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will use the Power Window plugin to achieve some creative effects uh, with your looks. Thank you and goodbye!